They just, I don't know how it really makes it into it. You just started doing cuts. No one taught me how to do it. You just watched. You need a steady hand in the corner during no, these big fights. <laughs> <and a break. laughs> you've seen that the fighter's cut. You've looked him square in the face and it's the worst cut you've ever seen. The fighter goes, what's it like, Mick? Is it okay? What would you say at that point? No, I would say, look, you do the fighting, I'll do the bleeding. Hello, Deck. Hi, George. How are you? I am really, really good, mate. How are you? I'm good as well, but you say it every time. So it's almost sometimes I'm like, is, are you even being sincere? Or are you always really, really good? I'm always really good. Okay. I'm always really good, when, I'm, so talking, good? when I'm talking to you. Correct answer. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Wednesday, it's hump day. Hump day. Um, we're still in January, believe it or not. It's still going this month. You sure? Yeah. Right. Scraping in. Yeah. Feels like it's been going on a while, doesn't it? Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dry? Yeah, it's been, a, it's still dry. It's been a hell of a month for this club as well. Mm-hmm. Our shred's been going mental. We've had two A-listers as well uh, in our C and Stars episode. The most recent of which, of course, was Kano, which which dropped on Friday. He did. If you haven't listened to that, go and listen to it. Have you listened to it? I've listened to it. Yeah. I mean, Sounds great. You were here, weren't you? I was here, so I was yeah. listening then too. Now, what you might have noticed in that episode um, is that he started quizzing you about one particular... Um, area of boxing that he was not up to speed on what was that and he said he'd love to know more about the life of a cuts man ah he did mm. yes and what do we do in the dream factory George well we deliver the dreams we deliver the dreams whether you're Kano or whether you're Andy McLean I don't care we would deliver your dreams Andy McLean Andy McLean I reckon Andy McLean knows about cuts man but not everyone do not everyone does I should say right um, not everyone does George but I mean you do because you employed this man I did multiple occasions but I don't really know. Like, what does he do? What do they do? Well, we are talking about a cutsman, obviously, yes. and the you've, cutsman. You've read about well, you've read the the bio of this episode, which is Mick Williamson, who was my cutsman for the vast majority of my fights. So he only missed a couple, and at the time, in my opinion, and many many others, the best in the business. Yeah, he he's, he was so good at cuts that he was the man tasked with. Um, taking care of Ricky Hatton one of the yeah. Britain's British boxers most famous sort of cutties yeah bleeders he was a big bleeder was Ricky um, and I mean I can't wait to ask him about the John Thaxton fight where the cut was mad you can go and have a look at the picture of that mm. he was in charge he was tasked with basically saving careers sometimes it's as, it's as granular as that yeah um, and he's doing that uh, every week every weekend yeah he's he's seen more blood than the Red Cross <laughs> Have you, have you used that one before? No, I've that made just that came up now. With it. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, I, I want to know. I want to know what he does. I want to know how he does it. I mean, a good night for him is when no one gets cut. But then, I don't know, does he get paid still? Yeah, we'd have to ask him. Yeah. I always paid him whether I got cut or not. <laughs> but maybe that's not the same for everyone else. Yeah, we'll see. He, um, yeah. So is he sitting there hoping for blood? Is it boring? Is he like a goalkeeper for a really good team? And he's just like, oh, mm. I wish they were shit. Barely so. get a touch. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Uh, let's see if he's the sort of Man City goalie or every place for Swindon. What's the difference? One of them has to. <laughs> one of them gets battered every week. Um, should we get him in, Mick Williamson? Should, yeah. we, should we? Should we? Should um, we deliver Kano what he asked for and hit him with a cuts man within days? Yeah, let's ask Mick Williamson. Um, His favourite Kano song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him in. Get him in. Welcome back to the George Groves Boxing Club podcast. I'm George Groves I'm with Declan Taylor, and today we have none other than a man who's always in my corner, Mick Williamson. Mick, thanks for coming on the show, mate. Thanks yeah. for joining the club. I was thinking you owed me money, but I was made a mistake. <laughs> he definitely does. He yeah. definitely does. No, but, he wouldn't have got away. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted when we first started this club, we wanted to dive into aspects every podcast different aspect of the sport and the cuts man was one that we had from the very start and i love an episode where we get to the bottom of something and we finally got a cuts man the best in the business was was the best in the business <laughs> yeah i mean we'll get to that so you i don't do nothing for nothing now so like so that was three years ago was you when, when you last did, did some cuts uh, no it's probably nearly four nearly four years ago yeah. yeah and before that you'd been you started in the 90s is that right Something Back like, end of the 90s? Yeah, yeah something like Four that. decades. You touched four decades of doing cuts. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot of blood. I don't yeah. look a day older. <laughs> <laughs> um, Greyer. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he was in, did all your, all your nights, almost. Yeah, so you was looking after David Hay uh, when I turned pro under Haymaker. So, um, yeah, you took care of me, Mick. Right. Never, well, never did anything wrong, so you start to finish. Uh, I think they might Didn't have been, charge you enough. <laughs> <laughs> did you um, 
was it your plan when you started doing it? I think, was it Billy Schwer was the first big assignment that you had? Do you know what I can't remember? Right? I Did you remember. think, this is going to be mean that I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this for a career well, at that point? No, well, no, it, it, it was basically nice to go to a lot of boxes. Don't forget, I mean, you know, lived top of your call and places like that. And uh, it just, I don't know how it really messed into it. You just started doing cuts. No one taught me how to do it. You just watched. Well, no, no, it was so obvious. You know, you dipped it in the bottle and put it on the cut. <laughs> and, and that was it. As simple as that. Yeah, it was, it was as simple as that. Yeah. But then, you know, there's a thing, I don't use common sense. You know, and, <laughs> and that sort of, uh, you know. And then also you get the superstars, you know, they want to cut them anyway and then do it. <laughs> so uh, it just built it. And, you know, then you got lucky, you know, people like George, Ricky Atom, things like that, which you never expected. And you couldn't queue up for it, you know what I mean? They called you, you couldn't call them. Mm. And that was it, you know. I suppose Ricky was really the, the be all and end, you know, at the end of it. But that was just a silly phone call. I didn't even know who he was. No, I mean, I knew he was a boxer, but I'd never met him. And then yeah. Billy Graham phoned up and he said, oh, would you work with Ricky Hatton? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had he had many cuts up until that point, Mick? Like he, he still had enough, but I don't think, he, you know, he wasn't on that profile at the, at the time, you know yeah. what I mean? They, they were nursing him along, basically. Because some, some fighters are susceptible to cuts, yeah? Some yeah. fighters always get cut, whether it be their style or just be their skin. Yeah. The way they, the way they fight. I mean, I can think of some, and you think, "Oh my God, when's he going to cut? When's he going to cut?" You know, and half the time you think, "Well, carry up and cut." I want to go home. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, no, I mean, but the, the, the top ones, you know, normally they know how to look after themselves. But uh, Ricky, that was it. You know, he was a bit fearless, wasn't he? When he boxed, yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, there was a period where it was almost guaranteed Always he was going to get cut. Mm. Oh yeah, and then you being in the corner. Everyone's going to then turn to you, Mick. And as soon as Ricky's cut, they're turning to you. Did you ever feel pressure at that point? Do you ever think, oh, I've got, or is it? No, you, you it's always the, do the same. What happens? What happens? No, the swear word is come in. You know, if you leave me alone, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the cuts, and they yeah. start telling you what to do. You know, guide you through the cut process. Well, half of them. I mean, they wasn't older than me. They looked older than me. You know, <laughs> but, you know they, they, it was always you know years ago when we was. <laughs> yeah. Ricky was a particularly bad cut. I remember the John Thaxton fight where he got oh. cut real bad. Yeah, um, yeah. That you great. you did that one. Yeah, yeah. Prayer. yeah. Yeah. How bad was that? And it, was that one that developed as the fight went on, or was it bad straight away? That was bad straight away. Yeah. He just used to cut. That was it. Yeah. Uh, uh. I, I remember reading John Thaxton. Didn't he say to you that he thought he, he was going to get his mortgage paid off yeah. until you did the business on the cut? Yeah. So you're influencing fights with your with, you with the quality I mean, of your work. You treat most of it as a joke, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you've got to. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you get wiped out, wouldn't you? You know, I mean, he used to keep his mouth shut anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like, George? I mean, well, how important was it for you to have confidence in your cut, man? <clears throat> oh, yeah, really important. Really, really important. Um, so, yeah, I got cut quite a few times I think early on in my yeah, career yeah he was a poser, wasn't you <laughs> well, yeah, man, no that's, one was that's, saying, no yeah. wasn't clapping hard that, enough that fair skin and I remember I remember Vic almost telling me as it is like you know it's a matter of fact like yeah you're susceptible to cuts it's almost mm. like yeah you're going to get cut keep your bloody hands Just, up yeah keep your hands up yeah. don't get hit I don't, I don't, then, how many times did you ever get stopped on cuts never stopped mm. on cuts no, that's what I'm saying. I mean that would have been probably been better than <laughs> the other ways I got stopped <laughs> it would have done my image too good yeah, yeah. <laughs> no yeah so there you go but um, I remember Mick saying like, right, now don't get hit. Because really, he, he explained to me that you needed the treatment in the corner, but also give it like a couple of minutes to sort of rest up. Yeah. And fighters, would they'd get like patched up, they'd, Mick would be in the corner, you stop the blood and you come out and then you get hit straight away with the first shot in the yeah, first five again. seconds and then whoosh, it's bleeding again. <laughs> yeah. Whereas yeah. if you gave it a minute or two, mm. sometimes... It, it was gone. Let the treatment settle in a yeah. bit. Yeah. Mm. Well, really the adrenaline's got to work. And yeah. It? Can't just be punched out again. Oh, it can be. If someone hits you old enough. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, I mean, it's all it is. It delays the bleeding. Mm. It doesn't cure it. Mm. I, I seem to think people used to get stopped on cuts a lot more often. Like when I was a kid, there was a lot more fights stopped on cuts. You don't really see it that often anymore. Oh, I don't know. To, to me, I, I think uh, like years ago, they didn't take as much notice of it. 
Mm. That's why. I mean, you could you sell through and you'll be cut from there to there and you still, you know, box on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think I think the, the treatment in the corner has been getting better. It must be. Surely, yeah. Uh, people are a bit more wise to how to... The only thing I don't like, you, you've got the poses. I'll do the cuts, I'll do the cuts, you know. Was that the trainers the, the trainers who would the, say that? The, the, the so-called cuts, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, so you get coaches who want to do the corner and do the cut? Would that ever happen? Oh, I mean, I, you know, I used to work the cut. If he wasn't cut, I'd yeah. still be working the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, in terms of like giving the instructions, would you ever get like the head I trainer? I don't think give it, never no, give no. instructions. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. got, he's, he's got his trainer, he's there. There's a say, me, I was inside, the trainer was there next to him. Then you get an interfering pass down the bottom, like giving all the all the information. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he'd be just be walking along like, yeah, do this, do that, do that. Oh, God. <laughs> So you started off as a boxer though when you when you were young. That was no, your route in. You no. boxed as, as an amateur, is that right? Or when you were a kid? I did box, but then I had TB, and that was it. You know? Oh really? Yeah. After that. Yeah. Just couldn't couldn't. Well, no. I mean, I, I, I lost interest, and there was the women, wasn't there? So you know, what I mean, you're far better on it. You know. <laughs> what's the piece? What's what's the kit that you need in the corner as a cuts man? Well, A, you've got to have adrenaline. Adrenaline. So is that the most important well, bit that is of the, kit? Well, that stops the, cut, the bleeding. Um, then, you know, but the basic things like um, cotton wool, uh, swab stick, uh, Vaseline. That's the three main items, you know, and, 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 a, and a brain, yeah. which uh, unfortunately not a lot of them have got, you know. <laughs> so they're pretty, that's a pretty old school yeah. for Vaseline. Um, I mean, that's petroleum jelly, I think. Yes, you've got it right. It's called, but that's with Vaseline, as we know. Adrenaline. Um, Where do we get adrenaline from? Very hard. I don't know. I mean, I I haven't suffered it, but uh, there's a lot of people do start moaning, you know. The chemist won't won't issue it even. Right, so you'd go to the chemist before. Well, you you had your own chemist, like, nothing okay about it, but they would get it for you, where it was was awkward to get, but they'd get it for you. And so they always had a stock of it, you know, say three or four bottles yeah. spare and all the time. And it, it, it lasts and lasts and lasts. I mean, the, the only time it don't last is if you undo it, you know, and then the, what's the name? And I say, I've got a fridge full of them. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> mo- most of them, I don't know. A lot of them have got, got the, the black, black arrow going through the date. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and what's your, and what's the, what's the, what's the setup look like? You know, it, is it like a Western? Have you got a, like no, a no. utility belt with no, it all? No, all you've got, you've got a wristband. Yep. Right. You keep your sticks there, which are not dipped. You probably might use one that is dipped, so you know, if it's suddenly in the corner, you know, you can get it out. Uh, and that's it, Vaseline. I mean, so there's nothing more to do. You know? So they're the cotton wool swabs underneath the wristband. Is that well, right? Well, no, no, you've got it, and it's already taped up on the, uh, what's the name, on the swab stick. Mm. So you've got all the cotton wool on that. I mean, you can pull up, you know. Right, put, right, right. Put, yeah, you've got bits, bits of spare stuff. And, not illegal stuff, by the way. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's it. And the thing is, you just don't take any notes anymore. You know, you just... Or you might mow in a bastard's cut again, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. so you're an autopilot at that point. Have you ever got to the change room, Mick, and forgot the adrenaline? Or someone's promised no. to bring you adrenaline for you and they haven't? No. No, always. Is that like that's the worst? That's the worst that could ever happen? I mean, don't forget, uh, title fights, they supply the adrenaline. The ball. Oh, they do. Well, yeah, I, don't, they? I don't know about now because you know everything's changed so far. But uh, no, I mean you get you know like the uh, the suited and booted officials walk around, you know, giving orders and things like that, and they will not give it to you until the f- start of the fight. Yeah, you can't walk out of it in your pocket. Yeah, you, you can. They give it to you anyway. But you know they go, oh no 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 <laughs> wait till, wait wait till you get in the ring. You Do know. you have to use their adrenaline or can you use your own? No, you use their adrenaline. If it's title fights. Title if fights. If it's not title fights, any, you know, it's ramped up anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's my... You've got to rely on it being the... Is all adrenaline the same as far as you... Oh, like, well, it's one of the, you just one of the thousand adrenaline. Yeah. I mean, you can get it stronger. You know, I mean, some of them, you know, I've seen some of it, not, not used it. Yeah. It's, uh, no, I mean, you can get it, you know, 50, 50 mil instead of 100. 
How are you creating adrenaline? Do you know this? Is this a synthetic adrenaline or are they taken out of horses or I'm monkeys? I'm glad you or asked, Dave. Do you know? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? No. I mean, how are you going to get adrenaline? Yeah, that's the question. And is, is it, it the same, it's, it's, is it no, the same you, adrenaline you, that you, you, you get coursing through your veins yeah, from you, punching? No, no, no. You just go to the chemist and say, I want a bottle of adrenaline. <laughs> And then, I mean, it's, it's as simple it's as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, if you don't like it, then you ain't got none. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was it. But, I, you know, sort of when I started, and that was it. But, I mean, even then it was expensive. I mean, I'm going back, what, 20 odd years? Well, longer than that, 30 years. And, you know, a bottle of adrenaline, you're paying seven quid for it then. This is mind blowing. Like, mm. we've heard this, obviously, we're in boxes. We know, we've heard of yeah. such a thing as adrenaline. People out there would not know that you can go out and okay, buy well, adrenaline. Yeah, and put it in your cups. <laughs> but no, a lot of them now will not serve it. Okay. Right. But the chemist won't serve it. And Disclaimer. I, I mean, you know, the one, one I've got it off for years, mm. and uh, they don't do it. Dodgy, no. dodgy one. <laughs> did you always use adrenaline? Ever since you were, yeah. every, cu every job you did, yeah. you had, okay, so it's not like a new thing, it's, it's always no, been no, the no, thing. No, 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 I mean, I know from the, you know, from the start, I mean, yeah. the only problem was, where do you get it? Yeah. No, you know, and you can't just walk into a chemist and say, I want a bottle of adrenaline. They go, yeah. sorry. <laughs> you know, yeah. Just want yeah. a good time. Yeah. So that right. talks through what that adrenaline actually does. We'll get onto the actual technicalities of dealing with a cut in a sec, but just Delay, while we're on delays adrenaline. The cuts. So that goes on the cut itself. In the cut. In the Not cut. On the cut. In, in the cut. Inside, and that prevents yeah, well, stems I mean, from bleeding all, all you do, you, you, you just got, don't, and you've got your cotton wool, but you make sure you haven't got too much adrenaline on it because if it starts getting in the eyeball then you're all, oh, yeah yeah winking at everybody <laughs> so <laughs> there's, there's the art to it yeah mm. there, that's that's the, the art. thing is when and you look at you it get of experience. you think but it's just common sense you know why would you put it in someone's eye when they know it's going to sting <laughs> but you don't you see and like, they, yeah, they, you they, need they, a steady hand in the corner during these big brain. fights <laughs> <and a> <laughs> Let's have a look at fight night in itself. So, of a fight night, will you only ever do one fight, the the cuts for one fight on a on a show, or will you be in no, and out no, doing more, plenty? More the merrier. Yeah, yeah. And I'm getting paid. Yeah. What's the most? You, what's the most you've done? And is it like, well, mix here so he can do these fights and give him a shout oh, and he'll do it. It's not as easy as that. Mm. You know, I mean, it's very sort of, um, well, you know, just you know, it's, it's, you're, you're, you're tied up. Yeah. Or you work for certain people. Or, you know, if they piss you off, you don't work for them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there is that. You know, and then then you've got someone who's just an hour second and wants to take over, mm. or you get a manager who thinks he knows a lot. You know, so like Mick, if I if I brought Mick in, it's a title fight. Yeah, um, no, I say how much. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind if Mick does someone down the early, card. Early doors, yeah, yeah, down the card, or maybe there's like I've got a teammate, a state mate, or friend or something on yeah. the card. Mick will do them, but really, you ain't got time to do. The stuff closer to my fight because he's sort of in the change room anyway, mm. and he's well, sort of making sure if it, you just don't do it. You're you know? on hand, and um, I mean, different if it's, it's, it's like a, you know a three rep or four round or something like that. You're doing someone a favour, yeah. Which you know usually don't get paid, so, <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, so they're I mean, using up all that precious adrenaline. <laughs> yes, yeah. so don't don't take my batch. Yeah. We, um, mm. but you could go to like a like a, a smaller show if it's a non TV show, yeah. and sometimes is, is that go what they call the house? like the house seconds or something oh, and he'll just go let, through the, the whole B card you don't let the house second near you no he's alright for picking up empty bottles and things like that you know and, or shouting out don't shout let him near a cut second. he shouts out but you, well, you don't because oh they're frauds I yeah. mean you know don't get me wrong that, that's the nearest they're ever going to get to it yeah and you know they want everybody to see that they can do it you know? and they're shouting things out and no one takes a blind bit I know it's all yeah. <laughs> sounds like me on this pod yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> What about swelling? What do you do about swelling? Ice. If it, it, ice, yeah? Yeah. So how, how does that work? Have you got the ice in a... In a no, are you, you grabbing ice and putting it on their face? You put it no, on... No, I mean, basically, you've got an ice bag anyway. You know, yeah. And you just keep filling it up. And then that's it. You just keep it on. Ice works the best. Mm. What's yeah. the little iron? Yeah, the little iron. Did that's you ever a, use the little no, iron? Yeah, of course you do. It's an end swell. That keeps the... Because it, what it is, you've got that in ice. And you pull it out, and I think it's a, it's a special metal that you, they use because it retains the cold. Yeah. And then you just on, and then you know lightly, you sort of all you're doing is rolling away the swelling. Yeah. Mm. And you, which way would you go with the swelling? You're pushing it away from. So oh, if you're swelling under the eye, yeah. pull it oh, away. You're just from pressing the eye. it away. Yeah. Mm. You don't want to press it in. You get it away. It, it can only go that far. <laughs> is there any? Is there any fights that you can remember that stand out for swelling that you've ever struggled with? Or is it usually a cut and swelling come together? No, no, you can just get swelling. That, yeah. That's all it is. I mean, all it is, bang, just just comes out. I mean, sometimes you think, pull them out. 
Yeah. Mm. But usually, you know, you get the brave second. He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> well, trainers ask you, Mick, like, can you do this? Oh, no, and if no, you can't, no. then we're pulling him out. Do you ever? No, no, it that? never comes to that because otherwise they shouldn't have been in the corner. Mm. You know, you might turn around and say it's too bad. But they, should, they shouldn't have to take my word for it. You know, although I'm, they're paying me to stop the cuts, yeah. they should know enough for themselves. I mean, all you're doing is looking at a lump. Don't, don't tell, you ain't got to be brain dead not to know it's swelling up too much and he can't see. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But unfortunately it is, you know. Cause there you might be st- trainers out there who think, maybe inexperienced, might think, I swollen shut, but Mick will sort it. Yeah. yeah. And he'll come out next round and be brand new oh, again. Oh, no, they do. I mean, you know, they rely on you sometimes. I don't mind, anyway. You know, it means you're keeping him work, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, no, you, you don't get carried away. But the only thing is you get some of them like want to nudge you out of the way and uh, well, let me have a go, you know. <laughs> What's Mick doing in the changing room before? What, by way of prep? Or do you just want him there just so you know he's in the vicinity? Or is he doing Vaseline? All you do Vaseline? is to a load of crap. <laughs> and that is it. You just sit in the dressing room. don't forget, all the t- fighter's trying to do is take his mind off of something and you're just trying to keep him happy and shut up. And that's it. Mm. That's the yeah. end of it. Yeah. You can't do anything. You're not doing anything at that point anyway because there's, no, there's nobody's I'm car. I'm not, I'm not getting paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, all they're doing is killing the time so I do get paid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mick's got to sit in the change room, put up with my music, yeah. which I'm sure he doesn't Can't really you. like. Str- um, keep around. the ice cold. <laughs> keep, <laughs> how keep, can you keep ice cold? <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I'm going to have to work on that for de- years, in fact. <laughs> I've kept the ice cold. How do you do that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Find someone up. <laughs> so yeah. say say the fight starts. So the fight starts, mm. and you're watching. Are you watching the fight? Are you just watching your boxer? You're just looking at his face, thinking, "Is he?" Get, is, so you see it the first you, second. You, you watch everything. Yeah, you have to. That's why sometimes you know you'll get one of someone to try and slip into you. You know your position. Yeah, <laughs> I want to sit there and all that. Well, you don't do anything. You need a good view, don't you? like of yeah, that, yeah, 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 and you don't want their opinion. Mm. I mean, it's different the trainer. You want his opinion, of course you do. But not someone who, you know, is wiping up sweat and shit. Because <laughs> you've got to get in the ring. If there's a cut, you're the person mm. who gets in the ring yeah. and you're you're face-to-face with the fighter because yeah. you've got to work on them. Apart from needing to get in the ring first so you know that's your job, you don't really have to prep anything else, yeah? Because it's no, all... You've just, you just got to have everything ready. Everything ready, yeah. And it, it's not, do you need it? It's in case. That's yeah. it. I mean, virtually, you know, you start off and then... Not, not a mark on him yeah. you'd still dip the stick and then you've got it you know you're banging and, and just underneath and have you ever got in the ring you've sat down you've seen that the fighter's cut you've looked him square in the face and it's the worst cut you've ever seen but you can't show no emotion you've got a poker face you don't want to scare the fighter sitting there the fighter goes what's it like Mick is it okay what would you say at that no, point no I would say look you do the fighting I'll do the bleeding <laughs> <laughs> just virtually shut up shut the fuck up you know? yeah. I mean, that's what it is you know, I mean, you don't take prisoners in the corner because it's the worst thing you could do. Yeah. Because all of a sudden they'd be laying on the floor. Oh, mummy. How quickly did you figure that out? Was that always your mantra? Or did no, you I just learn that over time? I just learned that. You know, it wasn't that. It, just, it was just common sense. Yeah. You know. Have, have you seen any coaches or head trainers really start to panic? Yeah. So you're going, right, I'm, I, I see this cut, I'm going to deal with it. And they're going, oh, this is a bad one. And they're, they're starting to panic on it. Yeah, it's yeah, happened yeah. quite a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Mm. I mean, the, the, the trainers are bigger frauds than anybody. <laughs> well, they've got to be, haven't they? Yeah. To, you know, they, they just, they're not sort of, all, all, all they're doing is, they can't do nothing else, can they? Yeah. You know, they can't get you to fight, they can't do this, can't do that. They can't use, you know, they don't, they might know how to use adrenaline and all that, but they don't use it and they're not allowed to. Yeah. Well, they are allowed to, actually. I forgot that. Oh, I mean, if some of them, if they could, if the, if the old camera's going, whoop, yeah, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't care, as long as I get me money in this, you know, <laughs> just, just discharge and cut some money. <laughs> do you go, do you always go, do you like to go in the in the ring and do it face on? Or do you often work from the side from oh, behind the you work the from the side. I mean, yeah. you know, if he sort of, if he cut that side and you're on that side, then what do you want to climb through the ropes for? You just bump, do it. Mm. It's easy, you know. Oh, do you get a better, better shot, on, shot on telly? Probably you do. You know, because they've only got the back of your head, haven't they? Yeah. That way you've got full <laughs> frontal. Yeah. Yeah, but, you, no, yeah, but you see other people, you know what I mean? But they went, I'll get in, I'll get in, I'll get in. He ain't even bleeding yet. Oh, he might. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any fight that stands out to you 
where there's been so much blood. You've got a nice, smart team tracksuit on that's been ruined. It's covered in blood. That you got to eat. Would, you, would you then leave it as, as war wounds prestigious or would you then take it to the dry cleaners and, and send the invoice yeah. into the manager? I've never been dripping in blood that much, I suppose, you know. It's, uh, it's all that adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. No, oh, no, the adrenaline one. Once you've opened it, that's it, end off. Yeah. You might take, you know, I mean, if there's a little drop gone, but it doesn't do it any good. That's when it does turn really black. Yeah. Oh, so you get one, you can open it, use it, one fight. No, you, it's not, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah. It was just common kind of sense. And you, no, you'll see adrenaline. When it goes off, it just goes black. Mm. Yeah. I remember, uh, who was it? Oh, he's dead now. God, God rest him. But, uh, oh, he, he gave me a note. So I've got a load of adrenaline for you. Every bottle was black. <laughs> <laughs> it must have had it about 20 years. I was just tipping it down. Oh, no. I thought, oh, the thought was there. Yeah, fuck is, me up. <laughs> is there such a thing as good and bad cuts? Any cut's bad. They're all bad. Yeah, it's not like that's a that's a good one because it's out away from the eye or it's a different. No, is the, it the thing is, once it cuts, it can get worse. That's it. It doesn't matter where it is. I mean, it could be up here, it could be around there. Mm. But if it, it suddenly gets worse, and that's it, and he's pumping blood, the referee stops it anyway. Mm. So you know, it's a cut. Stop it, and that's it. If you can't stop it, and then it's basically up to the referee, isn't it? I mean, if he's one of your mates, <laughs> you've got half a chance. <laughs> and often they'll bring, they'll bring the doctor up to ringside as well to have a look at it. Yeah, cut. the doctor's come up, yeah. Was that always the case as well, yeah. since you, your, your, all your yeah, years doing Not it? only that, you know, you get someone, they haven't been on telly for ages. <laughs> they like to stand over and pull their arm. And you can't say anything to them. Did you figure out any doctors that you know stop fights early, earlier than others? Some, yeah, yeah, there is and some. And it's like... I mean, you, you, it's usually the ones that are just starting. Yeah, they want so to. They want to. Want, want, I mean, it's, it's like me, and it's oh, he's cut there, and then you pull it up wide open. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's talk about your cuts, George. Like, how, what does it feel like? So you're boxing, and you're like, I really don't want to get cut here. I don't want to get hurt. Do you know it, straight away? Do you know? Mix yeah. watching, he see, he, he'll see it go straight away. Do you feel it straight away? Do I you think like, so. Uncut? I can't remember. Yeah, every time I got We've cut. We've never had argument over it, have we? So. No, we haven't, no. No, I mean, that's serious. So, you know, mm. if you cut, I'll just say you cut and you take my word for it and that's it. Mm. Yeah. I or if you say, I'm, Mick, I'm cutting this, but yeah. well, I, I don't, don't say, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, no, I, trust, I trusted Mick as well as sometimes... You was never cut and not realised, but sometimes you thought you was cut and you wasn't. So it was oh, that really? way around. Yeah, yeah. So or you'll have like a swell in there and there's a slight cut. Yeah. But you can't feel nothing run because nothing has run. But it's a slight opening. So as Mick says, you've got to treat it. You've got to be on top of it because it could always get worse. Yeah. Um, and I think definitely I've had fights where I've sat down. They've gone, oh, how's my face? <laughs> how's my eye? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, you got a little nick. I was like, have I? Like, and it's like, yeah, it's nothing. I was like, all right, cool, that's okay. Yeah. But, um, the famous cuts, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. <laughs> If they're above the eye, then yeah. you're thinking, I'm only always thinking about see. what the referee or the doctor might say. Because I know it doesn't matter, my head could be hanging off. Mick say, you're all right, we'll get you back to normal, you know, we'll fix you up, out you go again. That's Unless the job. You're... So if it's above the eye and the blood's trickling into the eye, that's like a concern, I think, because the referee says, oh, you can't see. So if you can't see, they've got a reason to stop the, stop the fight. If there's any cut underneath the eyes, I'm never really worried. Mm. So I always don't thought, really, don't affect you. it's not going to really go in the eyes. I can still see what I'm doing. Mm. I always mm. thought, I might be wrong, that the reason they stop a cut is because it goes in, in your eye. That's it, yeah. You know, unless you end up with vision. some horrendous, horrendous cut, I don't know. But um, when you get somewhere, it's down here, and then they'll just, because they know that it's bleeding, it's going to get in your eyes. Yeah. 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 So have you, have you ever had, well, I always think, and it's always kind of that perceived wisdom, if you get cut, you don't want to be dabbing at it, you don't want to like alert the referee, but is that hard to not do? You know, hard to not wipe it. Like I'm thinking the Gale fight you got cut, didn't you? Yeah, the Gale got cut quite quite a few times. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and so like, did he. So we kept, because mm. all Flock Southpaw kept clashing heads. Well, you, yeah. be, you beat him on like, one round, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I had a, had, a, had a bunch of cuts. Um, In fact, the biggest shock was you getting the decision, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he's walking We knew we were going to win, though, mate. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Maybe on the, on the away show. Uh, I was no already shot. working my money out. Yeah. <laughs> but as, such a high stakes fight, were you like, oh, when you get cut, you're like, oh, shit, no. I could do it Yeah, yeah. Cut, uh, they do, they take, they take me to the. I think I go to do see the doctor yeah, in that fight did, yeah. and I go I'm fine 
I'm fine. I'm fine. At that point, like you know, as I say, <clears throat> my head could have been hanging off, and I'd be like, I'm telling him I'm fine. Um, I think as well, unconscious bias. If you've got a good cutsman in the corner, they would give you the benefit of the doubt at times and let you get back to the corner and mm. see what can Just be done. Just say because you know you've got to pay me more. Yeah, that's the, yeah. you've got to pay yeah. a premium, haven't you, for that? Yeah, you know you've got to pay more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like well, I've got Mick there, so I know the refs will be thinking that they know Mick. You know they've known him. You've been you there. You get for a little years. bit. Some of the refs do give a bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just one of them, but it's, yeah. it's, it's business and that's but, it. But you've got to give the fighter every opportunity to fight, you know, really. Mm. So I think it's great, you know, yeah. it's great that sometimes you can't, but if you can get them go back to the corner and get some treatment mm. and then patch yeah. them up. Because you've, go you've only got one minute. Mm. Great point. Let's get into that. You've got 60 seconds, and actually less than that, really, by the time the boxer sat down and by the time you have to, it's more like 50 seconds or so, isn't it? Yeah. So, see, the, the one who does that, is the moron ringing the bell? Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, he's got. He's Shout got out, timekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> he's got. He's. Uh, he's looking at it. Uh, so you're. He's so you. So you jump. You know, you've got one minute. So not only are you doing a job, you're doing a medical service of stopping a cut, but you've only got that small amount of time to do it. Well, so you're. Are you got everything's ready? That's yeah. what I'm saying. You've got That's your adrenaline. You've got this. You've got that. It's, it's now. Oh, where is it? Mm. And you know what it's like when you panic. <laughs> yeah. oh, what have I done with it? And you see people, and all of a sudden they run back. Dropped there. it. No, run back down to their bag. <laughs> Search you through the bag. It seconds out. Mm. Fight. So the first thing you do, what are we doing with the cut? Are you press, like you see people go, do you press either side of it? What, what, what do you do? Well, what? The first thing is you put the adrenaline inside it. Yeah, straight in. Straight in. And in, in, in fact, I mean, sometimes you pull it open. Slightly, you know, because otherwise, you know, you're, all you're going to do is empty skin. Yeah. Or yeah. Not, not well, bloody skin. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever it is. You, know. you want to get right in there, so you open it up maybe a little bit. So the adrenaline out. goes in before you wipe it? No, no, you'll wipe it first. Yep. But even that, you've got to be careful, because if you wipe it too hard, you're just causing... Open it up more. Open it up there more. There you go, yeah. technique again. So then adrenaline in, and then Vaseline, we see that used a lot. And that you just stick that over the cut, is that like a sort of, just a barrier? Is that, is that what the Vaseline's yeah, for at that point? Yeah, basically it is. I mean, don't put too much on, mm. because the, th the thing is, you, you know what they are, fighters and more on some. But I mean, <laughs> they'll be going like that. Mm. The, referee that. Would, the referee doesn't like too much Vaseline either, no. does it? No. Just one more on that, George. When, how comforting was it? So say you're cut and you're like, oh shit, I don't know if it's bad or good, and I can imagine you're a thinker, so you're like, is it going to affect me or whatever? Sitting down, you know you've got Mick there. And he sits down, calm as anything, like every single fight ever, and it's just straight to work. How how nice is that to, as a feeling in that in that sense? Yeah, really good. Uh, it's just matter of fact, yeah, so yeah. it's a matter of fact, just like whoosh, job done. Oh well, I, you know, don't point asking Mick much anyway because <laughs> yeah, he's just yep, yeah, fine. Pick my brains. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but um, <clears throat> Mick was the only one who used to get a bit of a bespoke uh, kit because cut man. And so you'd have you'd have like a different different jacket, and, I, and that's what I was wondered like, was there like secret pockets mm. in it? Is there like for extra, extra stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then I, I think I still got loads indoors, but I don't know, even know who I work for at the time. Because yeah. the thing is, they they're more like uh, who's sponsoring them. Yeah, know. that's true. That's it. Yeah. Mm. So you have to, have to make an effort. Yeah, you can't come with a conflicting sponsor. You know I mean? yeah. <laughs> He's got a conflicting sponsor to your one. Because he's took care of another fight the week before. Yeah. Mate, got to take that one off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's still the Ricky Hatton colours. Yeah. I, I think there's a, there's, a trick, there's a trick for the cuts, man. If you get, get um, a lovely wristband, yeah. that's, they, they, you get attached to your wristband, didn't you, mate? Uh, yeah. And that's the one you like. That's the one that fits nice. That's the one where everything goes in well. And if you get a bit of branding on there... Mixed Maybe we should do four, GGBC four, one. Yeah, GGBC <laughs> one. Doing yeah. four shows a night, all on TV just see the wrist Spe speaking of which at your busiest point how how many were you were you working every weekend or no, no no and the thing is i mean as you sort of find as your profile you know what I mean? you're not going to go to your call for a four rounder mm. you just got well, to say your car probably would because i can walk there but, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, the rest of it yeah and also you you've by well, that you're old enough to know the clowns <laughs> you mm. know what i mean the, and that's the worst scene in the world, you know, get an idiot in the corner and go, oh God, you know, and you're trying to do something and he's, he's jumped up as well and he's, he's yeah. leaning over or he's wiping their face down while you, you know, you're stopping the cut. Mm. Should we have a break there? Let's have a break you there. got a feature? Got a feature. Right, best one we've ever it. done? It's the best one we've ever done. All right, cool, we'll have a break there. George, remind me again, 
how become an elite club member? Well, get a GGBC cap. Done. What else? Well, you could wear the hoodie. Anything else? Well, have you got a water bottle? <sighs> Anything else? You could get a print for the wall. It's cost me a fortune. Anything else? Well, this is what it takes to be elite, Deck. Does that mean I'm in the club now? Nearly. One last thing. Just hit the follow button in your podcast app. Welcome to the club, Deck. Oh, we'll have a push and a pull, mate. Right, we're back. We're back. Solid break that was. Mick patched me up perfectly. Yeah. It was only a 60 second break, but yeah. I'm back in action. Yeah. Feature time deck. Feature time. Here feature we go. time. Okay. So Mick, every week with our guests, we do a feature with them. Generally a quiz. Right. Oh, this it's week, it's you a quiz. You want to know me real age. <laughs> <laughs> now, a boxing related quiz about cuts, of course. I didn't knock about the feature name because there's a line in Rocky one that I love cool. and he goes cut me Mick cut me so that's the name of the feature yeah. today cut me Mick cut me cut me Mick cut me mm. uh, okay what's the premise the premise is um, nothing too clever I've got a quiz about some gruesome cuts I just need the right answer there's only six questions do you want to go first or second does that make any difference alright you go, can go first. first you go first right Mick so we're going back in time a little bit right I don't think you work this one, right? You ain't making out that I'm very old. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm Sounded not. like it. Right. <laughs> Who was stopped on cuts by Cassius Clay at Wembley Stadium in the fifth round of Here the heavyweight that. contest? Light work. Light yeah. work, yeah. 1-0. 1963, Ali had to get up off the floor. Yeah, he cut badly, didn't he, famously, Henry Cooper? <laughs> oh, do you, do yeah. you think the cuts weren't looked after properly, Cooper? back then well, they no, didn't I mean, do it the like same everything. or do you think he, like if, it, if he had boxed in today you like you would have patched him up and he would have been back out well, no I mean it's, it's just what they're using I mean one in a thousand adrenaline is a lot stronger than what they use but then again you didn't know what they were using years ago they could have been using it the, something that you know your eyeball were falling out yeah mm -hmm. petrol or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. one nil yeah. to make don't, good, good start don't, don't smoke around here mate <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, Deck. Yes. Um, question number two. Yep. When blood was drawn. Yes. Who had their ear bitten off by Mike Tyson? Van der Holyfield. <laughs> yeah, in the heavyweight clash for the WBA world title in 99. Yeah. Van der Holyfield. Never had to deal. Do you have any ears you had to deal with? You didn't do the Stephen Smith one, did you? I did, actually. That was your one, yeah? When his, 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 his ear was hanging off in America, I that think, one. Yeah, I think. Oh, oh, he might have been with someone else. Yeah. I don't really remember having, you know. Seeing his ear, ear flapping off. But. You ever seen? Do you ever seen that one, the Stephen Smith one? Stephen Smith. I think. Right. I, I think oh, I was I must have seen it. Yeah, go I can't get, think of it right now. Go and Google that. Oh, it's hanging off. In one of, it was one of his America fight Pedraza, maybe. Or, yeah, that was a bad one. But then again, probably well, I wasn't there. I don't know. Yeah, I've always would have been all right. Right. Who was stopped by Lennox Lewis? Right. In Lewis's last ever bout. Uh, and Lewis retained the WBC World Heavyweight title via a six-round stoppage. So it was Lewis's last ever fight. I do remember it, but... Uh, the cuts were horrific. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember I know the name. It. Vitaly. Yeah. Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko. And he went to... He focused on the cut, didn't he? Yeah. That, have you ever seen that, Mick, when you're... So your boxer is cut, and you know the, the opponent is working on it, and they can see his cut, they're trying to get the laces in there, they're trying to... They use it as a beacon. Do you agree? You've seen that before? And would you ever do that? Yeah, if there's like... It's like a target. It's not just aim for the face. Like if a cut opens up, like aim for the cut. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of fighters don't realise is you don't just aim for the face, you aim for the, the nose yeah, or the how many jaw. Fighters or can think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. I'm not sure in the flow. It's serious. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But it has to be a conscious thing because you don't really... You're on autopilot when you're boxing. It's not, you're not necessarily thinking an awful lot. Um, but Lennox went to work on that cut. But that Lennox night. went to, and yeah. I think the corner was awful. I think, is that the one where, who swipes away? Someone just wipes, like, his eye, his face open. Mm. What's my one? Right. Who suffered a horrendous cut between their eyes, described as an axe wound? Badu Jack. Yeah. yeah that was a bad one, wasn't in it? 2019. I saw Badu in, uh, in Riyadh. And the scar, he's obviously still got the scar. Scarred yeah. forever. That was crazy. That was yeah. a proper Halloween job. I, I messaged him 
or, or probably on the gram after that fight just saying hope you're okay because <laughs> I didn't know it was so was bad, bad. Like, you remember that one Mick Badu Jack is mm-hmm. a cut he like, looks like he's been hit with an axe yeah. um, they clash their heads obviously always and he sort of pulls a face like that and then as he comes away yeah. gaping like, hole like a mask on that's a bad one right Mick do you know who required 47 stitches on their right eye after their heavyweight world title fight with Otto Wallin no idea it's a British heavyweight I know it Tyson Fury Tyson Fury yeah, yeah. it's quite a bad cut actually. That, was a, that was a juicy one well it could, he could well have been stopped on, an, on another night I'm sure if he wasn't Tyson Fury he would have been Mick might have nicked this one I should have given it to Mick right. Go on. who suffered a horrendous cut again in 2015 with their fight with Jorge Linares right WBC world lightweight title mm, I know it you might have been doing it no I didn't I really know it. no Kevin Mitchell it was Kevin Mitchell it was bad yeah. that night he yeah. was really marked up wasn't he he was yeah. doing well in that fight he was doing well yeah. um, and then the 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 eye blows up doesn't yeah. it and then a big cut comes along as well yeah mm. oh, I hardly worked with him Kevin Mitchell worked a few times but mm. I think, yeah I didn't know if he would yeah he, he thought, had his own little gang didn't he uh, he might be trained with Jimmy Tibbs then not that Tibbs would be the trainer and cutsman yeah but. <laughs> he's not bad Jimmy yeah I mean I'll get on well with him you know? yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, that's concluded our quiz. Yeah. Deck. Um, Mick won. Yeah, Mick won. <laughs> well done, Mick. Was it called cut me, Mick? <laughs> cut me, Mick. Who pays you? Is the fighter pays you, or does the promoter pay you, or the manager? Like the manager usually. Okay, so the manager goes. The, Mick, the, we're boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, and you know he'll, he'll agree with the fee. Yeah, I mean the promoter. Well, you know what promoters like, Christ. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, norm, normally, uh, or sometimes the fighters do it because they're greedy bastards anyway, as he knows. <laughs> <laughs> how, how would you do it George well would you would that so be one of your Adam, things Adam would say right this is so when I was first started out I was training with Adam Booth um, and Adam Booth brought Mick in and then um, yeah sometimes there was just deducted off the purse for Mick and sometimes you're saying you need to transfer this to him after and then once I sort of self-managed I was manager I was the manager wasn't I so mm. I'd say um, Mick the giver. this day the giver is this yeah. uh, uh, and this alright and I was I hoped we never had that conversation actually was it enough or or what but I was thought I'll, I'll try and be generous I'll yeah, try yeah. and give a bit more than, you than I did before <laughs> <laughs> was it, would it generally be on the percentage uh, it'd definitely be on the fight you know yeah so it's so a big fight you want to get big, more money it's a big fight if, I, if I've done well because I've got paid for a big fight then everyone needs to get paid well mm. Um, if it's I should know, have kept a record <laughs> yeah 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 but if it's if it's the first fight back after a world title loss mm. and uh, and I'm fighting a pudding Mick he's there for moral support I know I'm not going to get cut um, <laughs> and the purse ain't that big then the money won't be as big as, as the world title yeah. before mm. but Mick never never complained so I always thought I've I done, did. done not to your face <laughs> not to my face quite, exactly run to the toilet yeah. <laughs> what's he going to the toilet <laughs> hearing crying <laughs> that's a good point if, if your boxer doesn't get cut do they go oh, Mick can I pay you no. off tonight no, <laughs> no well I, I wouldn't if, if they say well I didn't get cut and I go oh, fuck it go they say don't mm. come near me mm. yeah I mean I had that argument a little while ago mind you he was blind the kid but um, <laughs> what are you moaning about you know you won the fight you won the well, I ain't getting a lot of money. I said, well, you knew that before you boxed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's, it's what it is, isn't it? And no, if you don't I, get, I, I if you don't no get, if you don't get cut, then uh, Mick's still giving up his time. Yeah. He's still there, adrenaline, adrenaline at the ready. <laughs> you know? That is it. I mean, bottle. I've had that a couple of times. Well, I didn't cut. Well, what, no, I was there in case you cut. Yeah. Not when you cut, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they couldn't, couldn't even work that one out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you, no. you can offer to do a uh, you can offer to cut them as well <laughs> yeah that could be a service cut me Mick <laughs> I'll cut you and then I'll patch you up because mm. yeah. I guess a good night for both of you constitutes you've won the fight and you haven't got cut and you haven't had to do any and any, I've got extra money any work and you're still getting paid and everyone's yeah. happy surely that's what you well, want well no I mean you, you, you're not doing extra work you're still working yeah. all the time I mean, yeah don't do an injustice yeah you've still got the iron out plus as well. you got it wrong Mick this is a advertising space for him. He wants you cut to ribbons, shredded, bleeding yeah. everywhere, and yeah. he brings you back to life. That's it. And everyone goes, I need that man in my corner, just yeah. in case. Or oh, I don't I'm need him because he's a mean bastard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you said at the start, it's been you know, three or four years since you last, last did the corner, last did the cuts. Do you miss it? Yeah. Do you? I do, but not as bad. 
you know, I mean, I'm getting old now anyway, so, mm. yeah. And the thing is, it's, uh, and you notice the backing off, you know what I mean? People don't use you. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know it. Mm. That's, that's why I don't, you, you don't phone people, you know, because it puts them in a position, you know. What I, mean? I think the last, I forget where the last one was. The boxing like, stopped with COVID, didn't it, as well, so. Mm. Oh, yeah, it did. So it did that, stop, yeah. Um, but I didn't do anybody during the COVID. Mm. I think once I had a, uh, I had somewhere out in the stick somewhere, I forget who it is, it's like an holiday camp sort of thing, and they messed me about, I just I forget it. You know, it was, uh, you could basically hear in the voice, well, we don't really want it, but we feel awkward about, you know, knocking him back. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I went, no, I forget. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. And it did, funny enough, it didn't bother me that much afterwards, because you, sort of, you, you sort of watch and think, it's not the same. Everybody does, don't they? You yeah. probably do. Oh, the boxing ain't the same, is it? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, because we're biased. So, advice to any young future cutsman is adrenaline. They need adrenaline. No, first of all, they need to know what they're doing. How do you how do you learn no that? No point. You can have so all how the would they know? How do, you, yeah, how do you practice on? Like, what do you practice Did on? Did anybody show? Yeah, was you? So who would you watch? So you're watching someone in a corner. And then, as you say, using your brain, but you're just you're you're watching and learning because there's no course, is there? There's no, no like no, first no, aid no, course no, or doing, anything I mean, like that. But, but, I wonder what that was then. So, but, I mean, doing the cuts. I mean, it, it, it's you can't mess about. You know, you're doing cuts. There's no ifs and buts and roundabouts and all that. You know. Yeah. I mean, the only way you can do it is sort of using one in fifty. Yeah. And then if you get caught, that's it. You know. yeah. But you know, one in a thousand is enough. Yeah. But there's also, you know, you know, what pressure to use and that, you know, I mean, which comes with the, you know, experience. Experience. Yeah. That's a, a practice. It's, it's nothing wonderful. The big, biggest thing is common sense. Yeah. So you which can't be rocking up. Of. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be rocking up at A and E, waiting for people to patch them up before they come in, or outside. Belushi's or no, let's have a go on prism. that. Yeah. Yeah. We need one more thing, George. Oh, we do. Of Mick, course. Yeah. So, Mick, we asked every one of our guests to uh, give us... Not money. No. <laughs> yeah, 20 quid, please. <laughs> yeah. Give us a track that, that if, if they were ring walking for their own fight, what would be the music that they would want to ring walk to? Now, you've probably listened to hundreds of thousands of different people's ring walk tracks, most of which you probably thought are rubbish. But if you could have your own ring walk track to add to our playlist on Spotify, what would it be? I had a tiger. I had a tiger. Had a t- yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the rocky feet went yeah. way through. Perfect. Perfect. We haven't got that on there yet, have we? No, I don't Which think surprising. so. But even the background's going boom, 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 you know, that it, it sort of gets you going. Yeah. yeah. But then again, see, if I saw that on a boxing show, you know, what I got that here for? You know what I mean? This is a boxing show. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. and the, the tiger's eye in the eye of the tiger, there's got a big cut across <laughs> it that you've got to patch up. No, it's got me begging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, Mick. Yeah. Thanks so much for yeah, coming in, pal, and yeah. talking to us about cuts. Yeah. This has been one that we've been waiting An for. Education so long on cuts. To tick off. Mm. Um, great to see you, pal. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. I think you. I think you should say a big thanks for saving saving your career as well with uh, with all the it's all the bit, adrenaline bit, in the eye and in your yeah. face. How about that then, Deck? How about that, George? I don't know about you, but I could do with some adrenaline right now. Do you need some? Oh, I've already got mine coursing through my veins. I'm wondering how I can bottle it because apparently it's quite hard to get now. Yeah, not well. Mick's got some. Mick has so any a cuts, stash. Yeah, any cuts man out there who's struggling to get their hands on their adrenaline, I know just a man. Do you know? Do you know? Like when you watch The Wolf of Wall Street and he's talking about the last stash of quaaludes. <laughs> yeah, this is this Mick. It's the it, Mick and adrenaline. It's the same thing. I bet you if. Jordan Belfort it could uh, get hold of some adrenaline from Mick right now be all over that mm. well the beauty of this episode George is you actually get a spike in your adrenaline if you watch it on YouTube Bang it. and it is available uh, Wednesday evening on YouTube of course well, the adrenaline uh, yeah I mean we are providing if you that listen well. to it it's available yeah, yeah. Kano right now adrenaline going he's like he's on stage oh absolutely so yeah He's um, put down his uh, Dappy White. Uh, Dappy White, not Dappy uh, Fuck. He's put down his Dappy White uh, rum. Yeah. And because he's just supercharged. Maybe you could use the Dappy White rum to to sort out cuts. If you dab that in some, in like a laceration, it might work. 
Yeah, we'll keep it we, sterile, we, surely. We'll speak to Mick about that. Yep. Uh, shout out Doppy White. Um, okay, well, luckily, if you've hit the follow button on your podcast app, that would have been directly delivered to you. But if mm-hmm. you haven't, George, people should be doing that. Well, then you definitely need to hit the follow button on your podcast app. Hit the notifications as well, because mm. uh, these episodes come in thick and fast. Uh, check us out on the socials, which is the GG Boxing Club on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Obviously, we're going viral since we've had these superstars on mm. in our Seeing Stars episodes. Mick kindly come on today. He's going viral as well. Mm. Uh, wait, there's a link there. Vi- vile. Is it vile? What'd you put in? No. It's close. Am I close? Vi- viral and vile. No. Vital. That was, vile? A, that was a vile attempt at a pun. Vile. So, so I can tell you. Um, you can email us as well. ggboxingclub at crowdnetwork.co.uk. Yep. If you rate us on your podcast app as well, you can leave a review. Love that. Apple, yeah, that'd love be that. great. Five stars. Some people absolutely hate adverts, George. Don't know why, but some people despise them. Mm. Options? I've got one option for you. Oh, yeah. Amazon Music. Oh, yeah. You can listen to this entire episode on Amazon Music advertisement free. And if you listen to us now and thinking, I'd love to see the look of these guys right now, you can actually watch this episode on the Boxing News YouTube channel. So subscribe to that as well. You'll get loads of other Boxing News stuff. It won't be as good as this, but it, it's still good. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, might see Deck Deck does a bit yeah you might see me on there shout out to the Boxing News of course my employers Um, (laughs) always Uh, and if you like music um, we've got a playlist for you haven't we George we have if you want to know what it's like to be in the heads of every one of our guests as they ring walk for one of their fights any fight big fight the best of all fights then listen to our playlist The Ring Walk where each and every one of our guests has picked the song that they would choose for their ring walk get in the mind of each and every one of them Eastiums. Mm. And bit, hit us up with your own ones as well. Any good ones, we'll stick them in. You haven't got, only got to be a guest on there. We're, we're crowdsourcing across the, across the club. Yeah, make sure they're good. Obviously, yeah. It's and got, or not already on the playlist. Very important, that one. And stick it in and tell us why. And who knows, it might make the playlist. Might yeah, make the just cut. might. And if you're shredding, you're out training, oh. you should have signed up for the Strava group already. Follow the club, GG Boxing Club Shreds. Uh, we're on there and upload your content because you might get a shout out on here as well if you're doing well indeed um, next opportunity to do so is going to be this weekend George when we look back on the big long awaited much anticipated British clash between ECM Dan Aziz mm. and his London rival Joshua Buatzi. I'm going Deck. I'm going I'm working well I'll be bloody seeing you there and then we'll be chopping it up afterwards to uh, decide what the hell happened there Yeah. I'll see you there. I'll see you there, Dick.